With God we shall rise, ladies and gentlemen, this message entitled, Blow the Trumpet, It's Getting Late, Blow the Trumpet, It's Getting Late. This is a Zion's Wall broadcast, showing the word of God. Blow the Trumpet, It's Getting Late. The text is taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to the end. For the Lord himself shall descend with a trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are arrayed, we which remain and are alive shall be caught up to meet the Lord. We shall be changed in a moment in the twinkle of an eye. We need to blow the trumpet and let people know there is hope for those who serve God. There is hope for those who love God in spite of uncertainty. In spite of you not sure about your social security in the future. In spite of you not sure of the future. There is one thing you can be sure of. St. John chapter 14 verse 6. St. John 14 verse 1 to 3. Jesus said let not your heart be troubled. He believed in God. Believe in Jesus also. Jesus said, if I go, I will come again. Ladies and gentlemen, he's gone. He never lies. He's gone again. We have hope. If you serve God, you shall live again if you die. And if you're alive, you shall be changed. So we entangle this little message. Blow the trumpet. It's getting late. Signs of the times are everywhere that something is about to happen. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. He's soldiers of the cross. Testify about Jesus because Jesus Christ said, if you stand for him, you shall not lose. Jesus has the power to turn a mess into a message. Jesus can turn a loser into a winner. Jesus never lies. If I go, I will come again. He's coming again. We shall rise if you die. And if we're alive, we shall be changed. I encourage you, ladies and gentlemen, blow the trumpet. Don't be afraid to testify. Don't be afraid to tell somebody that Jesus was that Jesus died. And don't be afraid to tell them that he rise. He rose from the grave. Let people know that the grave couldn't hold him. Let people know that Satan and his angel could not control him. And death couldn't hold him. He rose from the grave with power. And because he lived, we can face tomorrow. Because he lived, all the fears are gone. And even if we have nothing down here, we have this hope that because Jesus lived, we can live again. And because he lived, we have this hope that we shall rise again. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Everybody join me and sing with these folks. Have this hope it will help us to know that 
even though things may not be all right down here we shall rise and we shall live because jesus son that lived <laughs> Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord, but there is power in the name of the Lord. There is strength in the name of the Lord. There is hope in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into his name and trust him and we are saved if we obey his words. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there is hope for those who love God and serve God. Uh, and I, in this little message, I just want to tell somebody, I, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you've been through, but God know what you've been through. And, and God know what you're going through. And he sent this little message for you. And he wants us to be witnesses in these last days. Blow the trumpet. It's getting late. Blow the trumpet. It's getting late. Ladies and gentlemen, signs of the times are everywhere that something is about to happen. But for those who love God and serve God, whether things are good or bad, there is hope for those who serve God. And uh, sometimes you might be laughed at and you might be joked about and be mocked when you're saying you're stand up you're standing up for God but in the Bible those who stood up for God always come out to be victorious and even though Stephen was stoned to death we know he have this hope that when Jesus God's son come again in first Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 1 to uh, verse first Thessalonians 4 excuse me verse 16 to the end first Thessalonians 4 verse 16 to the end Stephen though he die calling on the name of the Lord he shall live again many people die standing up and standing out for God but they shall live again why the Bible said for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven first Thessalonians chapter 4 telling us that we have this hope we are not like everybody else what do you mean Baxter well if Daniel and Shadrach Meshach and Abednego if Isaiah and Ezekiah and Nehemiah and Jeremiah if Ezra and Esther uh, if Micah uh, and, and all those prophets and people that serve God, people that you know that stood up for God, if all these folks live for God, Isaiah and all them prophet and die and have no hope, why would you want to serve God if there is no hope for those who die? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, why we need to blow the trumpet, but there is good news. The good news is that all who serve God and remain faithful, the Bible said, if you die for the Lord himself shall descend. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to the end. The Lord himself and, and, and shall descend and the dead in Christ shall rise first and those who remain shall be caught up and be changed and to meet the Lord in the here. And I'm so glad that the Bible said for the Lord himself. <laughs> because I know of many people that could come and should come that we expect to come. That didn't came through. But I'm so happy that when Jesus said he, he will come, it shall be done. And I'm so glad the Bible said the Lord himself shall. I'm so glad that the Bible didn't say the Lord may come or the Lord might come because if the Bible said the Lord might come then he may not come 
But I'm so glad the Bible said the Lord himself shall come. Somebody need to say amen. Somebody who believe in the word of God need to say hallelujah. Praise God. Lift your hand and thank God for this hope. This hope that we shall live with God and never grow old. Revelation chapter 21 verse 4. God the Son tell us in his words. He said in St. John chapter 14, verse 1 to 3, he said, If I go, you know, I will come again. That where I am, there you can be also. <laughs> Praise be to God. Uh, I'm so glad that Jesus loves us so much that where he is, he wants us to come. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm so glad that nobody can bribe him and tell him not to take you to heaven not to take you sir or not to take you ma'am I'm so glad nobody can pay him off <laughs> I'm so glad that nobody can give him some information that he didn't know and then he would take us to his place of peace and quiet rest the Bible said the Lord himself shall come and I'm so glad that God is omnipotent he's omnipotent and he's omniscient he know everything and um, we can't fool him but the bible said the lord himself and uh, i have this hope in my heart until death that god never lie and he said he's coming again and i believe that and that will help you to go from day to day to all christians all over the world remember we should be witnesses for god if you truly believe that he's coming again then the question I'm asking you, are you letting people know that he's coming again? Are you letting people know that he went away not to stay? He's coming again. I want to encourage everyone who believe in Jesus as the all-time champion, the all-time winner man, the one who walked and walked and raised Jairus' daughter. If you believe that God is everything and that God can do all things and if you believe that he never die and he's coming again why don't you be a witness for Jesus let somebody know that we need to blow the trumpet let people know that uh, Jesus is willing to save and he have the power to change he can turn a sinner into a saint because he have the remedy for our sins. <laughs> but what can wash away back the sin? What can wash away your sin, sir? What can wash away your sin, ma'am? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm so glad Jesus have the remedy for sin. He said we must be born again. But he have the remedy for sin. His precious blood. He died out of love. He died to save a wretch like you. Because while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And the Bible said uh, the wages of sin in Romans 6.23. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. And Jesus Christ, God's son, died. He's willing to save it's not the will of God that nobody should perish because Ezekiel 33 verse 11 says, God have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. Why will he die? God wants us to come out of sin. And so here I am telling somebody, let us repent from our sins. Let us repent. Let us turn from bad habits. Let us live for God. But in the end, that's what matters. No matter how much money you have, no matter how much woman you have, sir, ma'am, no matter how much man you have, those people can't save you, they can't save me. The money can't save us, but God Almighty, Jesus have the power to save. Jesus have the power to raise. Lazarus was dead, as dead as could be. And Jesus Christ rose him and bring him back from the grave. Not just that, but Jesus himself died on the cross. They put him in a grave, but hallelujah. The grave couldn't hold him. Satan couldn't control him. And the big stone on the grave couldn't stop him. He rose with power in St. Matthew chapter 28. And he said, all power is given unto me.
unto, uh, given unto me in heaven and in earth. Then he told his disciples, go ye therefore and preach the gospel. I'm trying to do what I can. And I'm asking somebody to share this message with somebody. Do what you can for Jesus in these last days. Blow the trumpet. Let people know it's getting late. It's getting dark. And five virgins in Matthew 25. I say this before you maybe hear me, but I'm going to say it again. Five virgins in St. Matthew chapter 25 got locked out because they get so relaxed. They get so comfortable. And when the bridegroom came, it was too late. Let us not get so comfortable that we're living in sin and don't even realize it. Let us come out of sin. But there is something great for all who serve God. There is something marvelous. There is something wonderful. Our hearts and our mind cannot fully, absolutely comprehend what God has in store for those who love Him. But there is hope for those who serve Him. Jacob shall rise again. Yes, I tell you, Jacob shall rise again. Those who serve God shall rise again. Those who stood up for Him shall rise again. And those who are alive and is living for God shall rise again let us blow the trumpet tell people now is not the time to be getting ready but to be ready because the night is almost gone and the day is coming on i don't know what it shall be but there is coming a day when the trumpet of the lord shall sound and time shall be no more what a day what a day that will be when jesus shall step out on the cloud to call his children Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the Bonson St. Baxter from the Zion's One Broadcast and share this message with somebody in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes. Blow the trumpet. Sing the song. Listen to this message in the song. Somebody, Jesus. The one 